We saw a historic agreement by a group of bipartisan senators who agreed at least uh, early on on a package of gun reform bills. Seems like there might be some bumps in the road ahead for that agreement, but uh, talk to me about where you think the House would stand if, as these kind of bullet points are outlined right now, if they made it to the House. Well, actually, um, Senator Cinnamon and Senator Cornyn, uh, the two, uh, two of the leaders on it, uh, were, we met with the Problem Solvers Caucus, the Bipartisan Caucus, this morning. Um, we we're continuing to talk about that bill and how I'm building support for the legislation um, when it comes to the House. I'm optimistic that that deal will get done in the Senate. Um, it's not everything everyone wants. You know, there'll be more work to do, uh, but it's a very important step in the right direction. I believe it'll save lives, and um, uh, that's what's critically important here. And you know, and I think it'll get strong support in the House. And and what we're working on is making sure that's bipartisan. Uh, when it comes to the House, and it has strong support from both sides, and and I believe it will. Um, we've got to take action on 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 red flags, on mental health issues, um, on school safety, on straw buyers. You know, there's a lot of things here that we need to do to make sure that we protect our our families and our schools and 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 our children. Do you think that this? agreement, if it's written, if it's passed, moves the goalpost in a sense, in other words, tells the American people that it is possible to pass bipartisan, common sense gun safety laws without infringing on someone's Second Amendment rights? I think what you're seeing here is that, uh, uh, first, first to your point, it's very important to show that these things can be done in a bipartisan way and that we can actually act and take steps. I mean, I think a lot of people are very frustrated. Um, I mean, you, you've had uh, 250 mass uh, shootings already this year. Uh, I can't tell you how many people come up to me, by the way, from both parties and say, how is this possible in the greatest country that, that this is, with no other country is grappling with what we are here? What do we do about this? And so I think it's very important um, to, to families that we take action here. And by the way, we also say to them, hey, you can still, not, nothing here is going to stop you from hunting. Um, uh, nothing is going to stop you from uh, protecting yourself, but uh, obviously, you know, no civilian needs a weapon that was uh, made for war. You don't need uh, an AR-15 to go hunt a deer. Um, uh, so, I, you know, I, I then, and this legislation is going to actually take steps to deal with mental health issues and school safety and protect people and get more background checks for, and, and look, be able to look back at, um, at, at, at records from um, juveniles and, and to deal with mental health issues here and, and red flag issues. So I think this is a piece of legislation that you're going to find that most Americans can, that can agree with and say this is going to take a step in the right direction and not infringe on the things that they want to do.